Have you ever said something, like a sentence, and thought to yourself, wow, like, I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words that I just said. That happens to me a lot. So now, just for fun, I'm gonna say three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before in the history of mankind. Sentence number one. Oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. See, that could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. So there's no way you could get it stuck between a hamster's toes. Sentence number three. Ah! I'm soaking wet! Quick, somebody bring me the ocean! No one would ever say that. Why? Because if you were soaking wet and you were upset about it, the last thing you'd want is for somebody to bring you the ocean. Because the ocean is even more wet than even the wettest person in the world. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? Mmm, I'm thirsty! It's not possible! This has been me, in a video! Come on! Give up the juice! Can you imagine what life would be like with hippopotamus teeth? What really made me feel the most uncomfortable were the leotards. I mean, I was just a growing boy trying to, you know, fit into my body, and it was just out there for everyone to kind of look at and judge me, or, you know, I just felt very exposed. So one week, we get a script. There's a new character for me on all that named Nose Boy. Naturally, I'm in a superhero costume, which is just tights and underwear. You know, what was different about this, they, they gave me a prosthetic nose, like an enlarged nose, and they put this same nose on the costume. I can't big What are your special powers? You can't help but notice that it looks like penis and testicles on my shoulders. This is a child playing this role, and he's playing it for other children. His audience is kids as young as six. I'm allergic to asteroids. <laughs> and the joke in that sketch is effectively a shot joke. It's a shot joke for children. I'm just looking back at it, it's just very strange. Frankly, it was just uncomfortable. In the, the moments to myself, you would just be thinking like, hey, this is what we got to do to be on the show, to stay in the cast and stay in the good graces of the people that were higher up. Some of the child actors felt like they could not push back, especially with Dan Schneider. And so I always did my best to be a trooper, never complain, because we knew being close to Dan could mean an extra level of uh, success. It was important to be, to be on his good side and weird kinks. So most people are like foot fetishes. Those are weird and stuff. But I was talking to this one guy and I thought he was cute. I thought he was perfect. He was nice, sweet and all of those things. And he brings up kinks and it's like, oh yeah, handcuffs. Like I bring those up. And he's like, have you seen those videos of people pooping on each other's chests? And I was like, uh, no, kind of. Yeah. And he's like, wouldn't it be funny if I did that to you? And I was like, uh, no thanks, not into it. And he's like, come on, please. And I blocked him. And yeah, don't ask a girl to poop on her chest. That's weird. <laughs> that they want my farts are actually serious about 
my farts. Right. So I I was getting messages for so many years throughout the years. I've been getting messages from people saying things like, "Oh, I want to huff your farts," or "Oh, I want to like put your fart into a paper bag and like," <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I I yeah. and I got those kinds of messages, and I always thought that it was just people just like joking, or it was like a hyperbole, like, "Oh, you're so hot, I want to like right. sniff your like, farts." Like me and my friends used to always like if we thought a girl was hot, we would say. Oh my god, I would eat her diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. It's like that obviously none of us really wanted to eat diarrhea. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. Right. Until one day I was like, you know what? Let me let me put these guys to the test. Let me see how many of them who've been telling me that they want my farts are actually serious about my farts. Right. So I said that I was like gonna make a batch and that it was to be like a hundred orders that I would only a do batch. limited edition. <laughs> like it's cookies. <laughs> hey, and I got really serious about it. I ordered from Amazon like a wholesale order of jars that are actually meant for yogurt, oh. but they're now meant for my farts. Right. And I ordered some like little flower petals to put into the jars because I wanted to give that visual illusion and feeling that there's that there's something physical in the jar. Uh -huh. Um and so like I had this whole like concept and idea in my head and I put them up for sale and I was just gonna see like okay well you know worst case scenario they don't sell and it's just like a funny story and, and how many was the first batch that you put up a hundred a hundred yeah and then I just I had some issues with like a few of them but I ended up selling 97 okay. so I essentially I sold out you broke them you drop a couple of them well one of them ended up breaking in the mail so you know, like you that, still sold it, but you, I, I you, still sold you it. But then I had to send them a replacement. How jar. much were you uh, selling them for? So I was telling people that they were a thousand dollars, but they, I had them on sale for fifty percent off, so they were five hundred dollars. But they also came with a personalized handwritten note mm -hmm. that I took the time to write for each and every single client. That's smart. I also had a, an autographed photo with like a cute kiss on it, and a lot of the customers did want like a seal of authenticity in the form of a video of me farting in. The into the jar just to like make sure that i was actually doing it all right so it's raining out right now so i don't know if, if y'all could hear the rain i hope y'all don't in this video but basically this video is going to be like very informational of why porn will literally make you a weird ass motherfucker like a weirdo it will in it will turn you into a weird dude right so let's let's just jump straight into it right so for the beginning of this video i put like videos of like people explaining weird kinks and shit that happens that a girl was making a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars uh, uh a year or whatever off of selling her farts you understand bro people go to eight years of college 10 years 12 years of college just to make that type of money or anything like that and most people don't even touch that type of bread a year but basically by a bitch grabbing a fucking jar or something farting into it and sending it out to a weird motherfucker so check it out bro you will really become a weirdo Ch bro think about it a girl is farting in a jar you as the person who's into this shit is paying 500 or a thousand dollars per jar of a fart that you smell weird <laughs> weird as fuck bro this dude, this girl is making bank off of these these suckers, these lames, these weird motherfuckers that I really hope you're not into, right? And this type of kink is completely different. This is weird shit. Like we all know about like people with foot fetishes and all the like type of different shit, weird fucking feet pics and or, or I don't like feet fetishes and shit. And I don't pay for feet. Like people like like pay for feet pictures. You understand that? A picture of a bitch feet. They get off to that. And I understand that this comes from of years of watching porn. This this comes from really watching a lot of this shit and watching it for such a long time that over time it develops into something very crazy and very weird. And this is why I might even leave a little bit about like pedophiles and like why motherfuckers like like kids like a dude is attracted to a kid and want to do weird shit with kids. No funny shit like around my way, bro. Uh, I'm not going to mention my job and shit, but bro, there was somebody working with me, bro. And this dude literally, like, he has a wife. You understand? And he had, like, the wife had, like, a three-year-old kid and, and uh, a 15-year-old daughter or, like, a 12-year-old daughter. Childs, kids, three years old. Do you understand how fucking weird and sick mentality I would, bro? Let somebody do that in my car, I'll kill that motherfucker. But, bro, this dude ends up, like, 
touching them and, and like doing weird shit with them and recording them. And, and it's like for his pleasure, he likes this shit. But it's sick because when you were a kid, you don't, you're you not into weird shit like that. You don't become into that shit. You, you, you don't grow up like liking that shit. You, oh, you become into that shit. You like start w doing weird shit, watching weird shit. And this is how it develops. And you, you get a weird kink and like he likes kids. So basically, I used to work with this motherfucker. No funny shit. And you can tell off of somebody's player build and how they look and shit. You can see like this is a lame buster, lame ass like ugly dude he don't get no bitches like shit like that right even though he's married i could only imagine like no disrespect to his wife like she's probably not as attractive as like you know a shorty i'm going for you feel me so this dude ends up recording like kids and like you know the, the the people he lives his his wife's daughters and they didn't know his wife didn't know about it until like she uh she um um her daughters went and told her and shit and like this dude was weird sick in them like the mental that he would literally have like camera secret cameras around the house and record and shit like that you feel me and he would be touching on the kids like on some weird shit but it was for his pleasure you don't grow up liking this shit you don't grow up liking this shit you grow up as a normal person but then you start to steer into different directions and it will change your mind frame of what turns you on and shit like that this is how this all of this weird shit comes about girls uh, uh dudes like shitting getting shit on or shitting on girls or eating shit like weird shit like times 10 of a kink of a regular like but basically bro i worked with this guy and his mannerisms of who he was he was like fat he was like 300 pounds um he looked like khabib like imagine khabib the ufc fighter but 300 pounds and like he hated life you can tell like you could almost sniff it out like yo this is a weird motherfucker i always had a feeling and i'm not saying that oh just because he got caught up and shit and i'm saying this because you can tell like yo this motherfucker's weird right so when i first start working at the place these people are like uh like don't take what he takes he says to heart and this that i'm like bro he ain't gonna say shit to me about like my job or i don't give a fuck what he say like you know i've been always that person was like even if you're my boss you're not about to like play around with me and he was gonna become the boss that's the craziest part about this whole thing so I won't really be talking to him. Like, nobody really talked to him. Nobody really fucked with the dude, you feel me? Because he was always mad. His mannerism, his body language. He will walk through the the, the the job. He'll be mad. Like, like just like a negative person. Always just like, like you know, just a negative person. Negative vibes. You won't get anything happiness. Like, any good sense of humor with this guy. I remember speaking to him sometimes, having to work with him. So, when you're working with someone, you kind of just like, you know, end up talking to him. So, I remember talking to him a little bit. He was all right. Like, not... Not a cool guy you want to be around, but, you know, we'll have some conversations, chop it up. But this is what wasn't someone I was coming around saying hi every day to because he was a weird motherfucker. You know, he was always negative, always like not something was wrong with him for real. And you can almost sense it in his player build. His he was fat. You know what I'm saying? He's not, girls are not going to be attracted to this type of guy. You you understand what I'm saying? This is why I say when you get in shape, you look good, you take care of yourself. You're going to get the woman that you want. But this guy, there's like no hope for these people. Right. So a lot of these people go towards porn and all of this weird shit and they watching it for hours and hours a day. And you develop kinks and weird shit that you like. If a dude is paying for a fart in a jar, think of how he looks. Think about the guy of how he looks that's paying a 500 to a thousand dollars for a dude, a bitch to fart in a jar and send it over. And like you jerk off to this shit. Think about that. Look at the motherfucker. Like you can tell. And if you he looked like Khabib. And he was fat and just disgusting. But basically, he was touching his kids. And one day, they came around the way and they told me. And he lived in the same town that I lived in, too. That's the craziest part. Not too far from me. Um, That I just moved out here. He lived in this town. And basically, he barricaded himself. Um, the, the, the daughters told the mom. And the mom, like, went to the police. And he barricaded his house. Like, he was trying to hide. You know, he stayed. He tried to hide in the house. Try to act like no one's there. The cops came in. They busted down the fucking door. They found this fat motherfucker, weird motherfucker, lame ass motherfucker. Like, and, and they took him to jail. And now he's literally serving like 20 years to life. I think like, I don't know the sentence, but it's at least like 15 to 20 years. And people around my job like, yeah, motherfucker, like he should die. Like they should kill this motherfucker for being a weird motherfucker, like a weirdo. And like... <clears throat> He was touching his own wife's daughters. You know how, like, lame that shit is, bro? Like, real shit. Like, this is getting on some, like, real deep shit. It's deeper than what you think of a guy just liking feet or liking to be shit on. If he likes to be shit on, there's something wrong with him. Do you understand? Bro, we shit in the toilet. You don't get shot on. It's weird. You get off and you arouse. 
uh, you get aroused to it and you start to jerk off and you bust off of some weird shit, this is why it will make you a weird motherfucker. It's deeper than just like, you know, your mind frame and you you wanting to fuck women and this, that, and you know, you and this leads to people being shy anyways and because you get so into porn that you start jerking off every day, you, you lose and lack confidence. And this is why semen retention is an essential thing for men because you won't end up like these weirdos, bro, that's watching this shit for hours a day. The moment they get home, they watching it for hours. I used to do this when I was a kid. Uh, watching it for hours and shit like that. But as I got older and I fully got off of porn, like I realized this shit, like I really realized it. And I got a story for y'all, but basically they take him into jail and he gets like 20 years or like 15 to 20 years he's sent, like servicing. And I knew this guy, it's weird. Like work with this motherfucker and everyone around the way, like, yo, fuck him. Like people around the way, like, yo, if he did that to me, bro, or my my kids and shit like that, bro, he wouldn't live to talk about it. Like people really tell me, oh, hey, really saying this shit. Also, I'm like, yo, he deserved to die. And I, I, I don't like, there's some along the lines I do agree. Um, they got him in protective custody. I would just say, yo, let that motherfucker be in, like, the population. They gonna beat the shit out of him to death type shit. Or, like, nobody's gonna want to be around a weird motherfucker around that in jail. They will kill you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's in protective custody. He's, like, you know, for the the, the weird motherfuckers, they go to protective custody and they're, they're, they're all right. They get to serve their sentences. But they, I believe they should be in the population and pay for what they get, for what they did. You know what I'm saying? But, but that's just one quick story. And... And, and just, bro, you got to really think about this porn shit. Like, it's not, it gets so much deeper than you just being, like, addicted and watching it. It, it develops something very deep within you and your psyche that you start to like a girl to shit on you. You start to pay for weird shit. You start to watch weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Because understand this. Every person who watched porn, every man that grew up in Generation Z, even my past, the millennials and all that, they watch this shit. They, whether it was from magazines or watching it off of porn, jerking off to it. They, they, you develop weird shit that you like, right? And for some kinks, like, you know, like the, like I said earlier, the foot fetishes, I'm not into it, but like, I don't see it as weird as a motherfucker that's getting shot on, right? There's levels of kinks, you understand what I'm saying? But the deeper and the more you watch and the more crazier shit, uh, uh, the more you watch it and the more addicted you are, the more crazier shit you will watch, right? And take this for example from when you were a kid, right? When you first jerk off, you don't, you're not watching some wild shit of like, some crazy shit, you would look at that shit like, yo, this shit weird as fuck because your brain is the brain was desexualized to the shit. It wasn't ac accustomed to the shit. But as you progressive overload on porn, you start to watch it every day and jerk off three times a day. You start to watch harder, harder, harder shit. This is why you develop some kinks. And, and, and this is why these people develop the weird ass kinks because they're on it every day. They have no hope of getting women in real life. They have no hope of really having sex and maybe even get a, a wife so they buy uh so they watch porn they buy farts of jars they they bro there's so many kinks out there that is completely weird like actually weird but people like this shit think about it me me as a guy i hate farts like i hate burps and farts and if you don't say excuse me i'm like yo what, what's wrong with you like especially when it's a girl like even with my ex bro like i'm gonna keep it a beam or any shorty i was around like if she farted around me and, and, and like I would literally be like, all right, well, go go over there for a little bit. Like I, I'm not into it. I don't like that shit. Like I don't give a fuck. Uh, all these old heads say this weird shit where like, oh, you just a kid and this that. No, motherfucker, I don't care how old I am. Like, like, like if a girl would fart and she start laughing, I'm gonna look at you like, come on, bitch. Like watch out, bro. Like I don't like that shit. But guys are paying to sniff a fart out of a jar. How down bad can you be? Like think about that shit, right? How down bad can you be? That shit is crazy to me that a dude will spend a band for a fart in the jar. He not even fucking the bitch. He's not doing nothing, none of that nature, but he will get trapped out like a fucking hoe and send his money to a girl for a fart in the jar. He's not even fucking the bitch. Do you understand how crazy that is? Like, this is what happens. And I, I put two to two together because I'm watching this video on, I forgot the dude's name, but he's like, with the pedophiles and shit, like, He's like, bro, maybe sometimes they should bust. You know, it's all right to bust in this, that, and third. I'm like, no, because I understand this is why they develop these weird kinks of touching kids and liking kids and all sorts of things because they're watching it all day, every day. This is what they do. This is what they jerk off to. The harder, the more you watch, the harder the shit get. Um, the harder the shit get. And like I said, when you was a kid, you wasn't watching no weird shit. You wasn't, you was starting off on like some basic shit, like a girl kissing the dude and like they fucking and you end up just like busting and shit. But as you continue watching, as you get older, um, like I stopped probably like about a year ago now, 
bro. Like I was watching bitches get fucked. Like oh, like not OD to some weird shit, but you watch it like some harder shit. You feel me? Like I'm not watching gang bangs and all that other shit, but I'm watching like a bitch get dropped off. You know, and this like that's like normal. You feel me? I feel as if that's normal. Like you know, you just watching porn and you watching like as like it's not good. I, that's why I desexualize because this shit is fake. All of this, a lot of the shit that you watch on porn is a fantasy. Like think about the shit. Uh, the biggest thing that I know of, like a lot of people make memes on about, is like. Uh, the stepmom and stepbro and stepsis and all of this shit, but internally like it's wrong. Where mom, son and shit like that's weird. Like a, a mom getting stuck in a, a a fucking washing machine and people are making clips and videos and all this. That's a fantasy because in real life that shit ain't gonna happen. So a lot of people go off of these fantasies and they're going crazy off it and it develops into some more weird shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this is how these pedophiles go. There's like this new thing going on with this Nickelodeon shit. If you ever watched uh, Nick, uh, Nickelodeon, I've been new about this shit too because uh, Dan Schneider is a weird motherfucker. And if you, you could do your research, go watch this shit. Like, I might even actually leave a clip for y'all in the beginning because that's actually really smart. Because that's actually something that you could really pick up on. Like, this motherfucker, Dan Schneider, was weird. Like, he had a character of a kid. That, like, back in the day, and I didn't even know the show, but it was on Nickelodeon, that the kid would have a nose, as, like, he was a superhero. He'll play the character of a superhero. And he would have a uh, a, a nose, right? Like, a, a nose, right? Just imagine a nose, but the nose looked like a dick, right? And his superpower, whatever the fuck, was that... You remember, like, on Nickelodeon, when the slime would come down, and, like, I remember as a kid, like, just, like, the slime. Oh, I want to play with slime and shit. Like, thinking about that shit. As a kid, I ain't know no better and shit. But the dude would sneeze... And, and it would always be on the, uh, another character's, like, face. Like, it would sneeze from, like, he had noses on him. That nose would, like, basically bust on a bitch face or a dude's face or whatever in that, like, show. And the kids were, like, and the kids, like, he explained, the dude was explaining that, like, yo, bro, I was in, like, a tight-ass suit where, like, my body was revealed kind of thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Dan Schneider was a weird dude. Like, he liked this shit. He had a pool shaped as a foot. Like, think about these, look at Dan Schneider. He's not too far off of the guy that I was talking about that was touching on kids that uh, in my real life that I've seen. I'm telling you, these motherfuckers are fat, ugly, disgusting. They have nothing like to go for in life for real, but be a weird motherfucker. And that character would literally bust onto another character's face in the show. But as a kid, you don't know no better. You're watching this shit thinking this is normal shit. I like to play with slime and, you know, all that shit, right? You don't know no better. But as you get older and you're like... You know, as you see the shit for what it is, it's like, what the fuck? If you really search up some Dan Snyder clips, he was a weird peop a weird motherfucker to the people of, like, the Nickelodeon shows. Our favorite shows growing up, for me, was, like, iCarly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, whenever Dan Snyder came on set, I might actually leave clips for y'all. They would turn and feel, they would turn away from him. They, like, he'll be recording it, and they will try to walk away, try to duck him because they don't like him. They're, he's weird. Like, he'd be touching on these kids in these shows. Like, no funny shit, like... And, um, like, 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 bro, I'm gonna leave some clips for y'all. Matter of fact, like, how weird this shit is. These, yo, he was touching on kids for real. Like, all of this shit, I, I Carly, Drake and Josh, Drake Bell's making some shit about some dude touching on him and shit like that. Um, I think he was raped as well, like, type shit. Like, dude, you could do your research. Search up, like, on TikTok, like, uh, Dan Schneider with the Nickelodeon cast. Bro, you, they will explain to you, like, yo, this motherfucker was touching on kids. Like, Jeanette McCurdy tried coming out, but I believe, like, they signed a contract that, like, yo, you can't really speak about this shit or, like, things will happen. You understand? Like, it's something of higher levels that people come around. Like, if you look at, uh, 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 fuck, what's that dude's name? The island guy. <sighs> fuck, I forgot his name. But he was a weird motherfucker, too. And then he died, too, not too long ago. But he used to have an island where he would take kids and groom them over there and play with them. And, like, bro, weird motherfuckers, bro. Like, think about this shit, like. Bro, this shit is all for motherfuckers who look like they watch porn all day because they do. And this is the kinks that they come and they get turned on by, bro. The, the cast of Victorious, bro. These these people explain like uh, Jeanette McCurdy. Uh, uh, she played Sam off uh, iCarly. All of them didn't like this dude. Like um, all the characters off uh, of Victorious and shit. They're older too and they're still getting played with and shit like that within these casts. You could see. I remember seeing clips of um victorious and it was um oh, what's that girl's name ariana grande she would have her feet in the pictures of a video and it would be like pickles like some pickle scene or some shit like pickles as their toes 
and, and I think I Carly did it as well. And I think one of the other cats were like playing with their toes or like trying to eat the toe. You feel me? Or they were putting their mouth in the toe. Bro, these motherfuckers are sick. These are these people who really watch porn all day, bro. That and they develop these weird ass kinks. I'm not lying. I'm gonna leave these. I'm gonna leave some clips for y'all so that you can really understand what I'm talking about. It will make you weird. Just imagine the guy who doesn't watch porn. He's not accustomed to this shit, but he's fucking bitches or like, or he's just fucking in general. He's not gonna be thinking like, yo, I, I, I'm gonna do all of this weird shit. I'm, I'm gonna get shot on. It's not normal. That's not normal. That's something developed from your psyche, and. Like I said earlier, the dude was like, maybe he should have been busting and like watching porn because it could have been better for him. No, that's what he does all day. If he was on retention, he wouldn't be on this weird shit. He'd be focused on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? This is why I'm saying, bro, this shit will make you weird. Like, I really want to inform you on these motherfuckers who become pedophiles. They like this weird ass kinks and shit like that. They're watching this shit all day. They're watch they get turned on. They get aroused in, in real life. They want to touch on girls. This, that. Bro, that's how that shit happens. No fucking cap. You put two and two together, you understand the shit. Compare it from when you're not watching this shit and you're not into that shit, like you're like into porn and shit. You're just in real life fucking women. It's it, like it's different from actually watching porn, bro. It's different. Porn is a scene. It's fake. It's like it, it, it's to get garner attention and atten uh entertainment kind of thing where it gets you into these fantasy holes of you're fucking uh your stepmom and you're fucking your stepsis or you're fucking all of these like you understand. It's a fantasy like. It's a true fantasy that gets you into your membrane and your, your psyche. And then it continues to go like an overlapping loop. I swear to you, bro. Um, uh, Oh, and I want to tell y'all a quick story of me. Like for most people, right? I'm going to keep it a beam for most men growing up. You watch porn, right? Like we watched this shit growing up, right? So about two years ago now when I first came over here, right? I'm talking to this girl. I meet this girl, right? And this never happened to me before, right? But, like, I'm talking to this girl, you know, I'm on some chill shit, like, we, we cool, we start talking, and I end up going over her house, right, and it's the first time, and, you know, if you're going over a girl's house at late night, you should know what's going on, right, so she had the red lights and the shit in, in her room and shit, so it's like, alright, we about to get to work, and I already know what time it is, so, you know what I'm saying, you don't just go in and try to fuck immediately, right, so you just watching some shows, you, you kicking it, you vibing, and then as the man, you make the initiative move where you kiss and then you start doing what you're supposed to do, right? Like, that's that's how I play the game. I, if I'm in a bitch bed, bro, you best believe I'm doing something. I'm not one of you scary-ass motherfuckers where she has to initiate something. No, I'm the one doing that shit, right? So we're getting into it, right? Long story short, we're getting into it. And this girl was kind of different for me, right? Like, I always heard of guys, like, when I was younger, um, my boys, uh, even my boys, like, all guys experienced this shit because we all watched porn when we were kids, bro. So... By like 16, they'll be like, we, like they lose their virginity and the homies will all have stories of like, you know, fucking bitches or whatever. And some of them, like a lot of them will actually be like, yo, bro, like I couldn't even get up with this bitch. Like my dick couldn't get hard. Like she wasn't aroused. Like I wasn't aroused to her. Like, you feel me? But I understand I put two and two together. And it's like, because at that time we were kids and I'm like, yo, hearing this shit, I'm like 15 or like 14. I didn't get to fuck yet. Um, and, and all these older heads, I used to hang out with the older guys and shit like that playing soccer. And they would be talking about it. They'd be like, word, like sometimes I couldn't even get up with a bitch. But they're, bro, we're like, bro, our testosterone should be rising. We should be horny as fuck all the time. This is, you remember in school where your, your dick would just get hard out of nowhere? That was what, like, that's how it's supposed to be. But it's not only just nerves, you know, maybe like some shit where you're nervous around the girl. It's not only that. I understood this thoroughly, right? It's the porn that you watch. When you're watching that shit a long time, uh, uh, like a lot, and you're as a kid, you're like 13, 14, you watching this shit a lot. You, you, you get like into your brain where you, you like, you, you could only get hard to shit like that where you're watching, right? So, um, these guys will be like, yo, bro, I couldn't even get up. Like, I remember hearing this shit a lot from a lot of the older heads. And I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about, but that would never happen to me. <laughs> right? But as I grow older, right? I'm, uh, like, like I said, about two years ago. Um, I'm talking to this girl, I go to her house, they said, we about to get into it, and we getting into it, but I couldn't get up, and I instantly thought about that flashback of, like, all these guys telling me this, I'm like, what the fuck, ain't no way this shit happened to me, right, so I'm doing everything, she doing everything she can, she getting to bop and all this, I couldn't get up on her shit, right, and also, like, she was a virgin at this time, so she could she didn't really know, like, what to do and shit, so it was, like, harder for me, like, to be like, I'm like, damn, bro, like, she didn't even know what she doing, but, like, so I couldn't get aroused from the shit. But, like, at this time, I was watching some porn and shit, and I wasn't watching it heavily, but I'm like, hold on, bro, I'm gonna be right back. So I go to her bathroom, it's like 
boop, 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 next door, like next door, right? So I go into her bathroom and I pull up a video. Why my dick hard? Why, tell me why my dick got hard to a video. When I'm about to fuck her in real life, I couldn't get up. And I'm like, and, and that's when it truly hit me. I'm like, yo, it's this porn shit that really doing it to dudes. When they were kids, they didn't understand this shit. Like, we didn't understand this shit. But now that I know and I grew older and more wiser, I'm like, yo, this is the porn shit. It will destroy you. Right? Not saying that if you watch porn occasionally, your, your dick not going to get hard with women. But, like, like I couldn't get up with this bitch. Like, and I go into the bathroom and I pull up a video of porn and my dick get hard. Like, what, how does that work? It means your brain is truly aroused to the shit that you're watching instead of about to get into work in real life with a girl. That's how deep this shit can get. But nobody really knows it. Nobody knows how to pinpoint. This is why motherfuckers are weird. This is why dudes get sh like shitted on and they're, they're by the bus because they seem, they watch that weird shit. Like, oh, there's so much weird shit that I don't even know, I don't get into. But this is like about this shit story. Like, I knew specifically was because um somebody i knew around the way he told me like yo bro you work i'm working with this dude he talking about like they get into it talking about bitches and shit and he talking about bro i'll be watching some porn and this shit like I, I like the have you ever heard of like some weird shit in my and the dude's like my the person i know he like the fuck like he looking at him like what's the fuck wrong with this guy and i'm telling you you can scan the badges like think about the guy who's like watching weird shit He's a vir like a virgin type dude, like a like a fruitcake, a weirdo, like a like bro. He's fat, like he's like three hundred fifty pounds, bro, out of shape. You know, no bitches going for him anyway. So this is all he has. You understand what I'm saying? So he's telling all uh, the person I know all of this weird shit that he likes to be, uh, that he watches shit like where, uh, um, uh, where a bitch sucking his dick. Like this is gonna get gro Like I I hate to be so open. I don't hate to be so open. I'm gonna keep it a beam. Like he. He telling me this dude like was talking about he liked to get his dick sucked while shitting and that he liked to get shattered on while he's getting fucked. And that's what pinpointed me to like, yo, that is a weird motherfucker. A weird ass dude. This shit will engrave into your brain and this is what you become to like. So, but to get back to that story with that girl, right? I end up like, I end up like not being able to get up. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I go to the bathroom, I pull up porn, I get up. But by the time I go to the other room, I, I, I just couldn't be uh, aroused with her. I just couldn't. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And she's like, yo, uh, I'm like, yo, is it my fault? This day? I'm like, nah, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck going on. But don't worry, like, I'm going to get up, though. So um, I end up leaving and shit. But the next day I come over and we go get to work and get, like, trash that shit, everything like that. But I was like, yo, what is, what was it? Like, that's wrong. Like, something's wrong. What, what, what was that, Patrick? Like, that never happens. That will never happen to you. That never happened again. You feel me? This was like two years ago. This has never happened ever since. But I remember all of the stories of my homies and people that told me around the way that they couldn't get up with a bitch. There's reasons for this shit. I want you to understand. You you jerk off. You Are you too much into this porn shit? It, you, there's reasons that you're not going to get up. And I understand this clearly because a lot of guys don't get no ass a lot of guys don't be they're scared to talk to a girl and this is the leeway of why it will make you weird i'm sorry you're getting just if you put it in the perspective of the third point person point of view even for me and my story i'm in a bed with a bitch who looks pretty good and i couldn't get up with a bitch who looks pretty good but when i go to the when i go and watch porn my dick gets up why you're a weirdo because you like what is that like come on bro you about to fuck a bitch and you can't get up that's how bro that's how brutally honest i am with myself even other people can't be that honest with themselves because they don't truly love themselves but it's like i'm gonna do whatever it takes to get out of this shit and that's why i stopped watching that porn shit i've been off that shit but i really want you to understand where this shit comes from all of these pedophiles all of this weird shit people liking kids people doing all this weird shit with kids it comes from watching and access an excessive amount of porn that's over progressive overloading that you're over stimulating your brain that sometimes that you will bust and sometimes you don't even feel good i remember when i was a kid excuse me like you will bust like three four times out of the day and by the fourth time you just like at that point you just busting the bus and you just like what the fuck like it don't even feel good at that point you just it's just your brain over stimulated with the shit that you watch this is like an occasion thing that you did I remember coming home from school and just doing that shit a lot. Like, that's just, but we were kids. I was a kid. I thought it was normal. I, people around the school is always talking about their favorite porn stars. Or you're in a group chat lobby with in the Xbox with your homie. You talking about, like, yo, go watch this bitch. And they telling you to watch this bitch. This, that. Like, you didn't know better. You were a kid. But as you grow older, you start to really realize what is wrong with this shit. And just think about it. If you're older and older and older, you're 30 plus, 35 plus. Like, bro, that's fucking weird. Like, 
You should be getting women. You should probably have a girlfriend, a wife, or some shit. Like, come on down, dude. Like, you watching porn and you watching all this weird shit. This leads you into that rabbit hole. You're so deep into the rabbit hole that it's not even good anymore. You know what I'm saying? It, it was never good, but you're so deep into the rabbit hole that it's like you're a lost cause at that point. That's why these people hate on people on, on semen retention and shit. Because I can guarantee, right? Take a dude who watches porn all day and a dude who's on retention, on nofap or whatever, and he's not focused on women all day like this, this guy is. This is all he's focused on is porn, women, busting the nut. This dude's focused on his mission and what he got going on. This is why it's essential to be a man on semen retention. It will change your ways. This guy is going to get way more women anyways because no matter how he looks, if he starts taking care of himself, he's on self-improvement, watching uh, uh, on semen retention and shit, trying to over like get better in life he's gonna get the women regardless this guy is almost a lost cause who's watching this shit all fucking day this is all he does he doesn't have no mission he probably plays video games all day and then his diet is horrible he's eating like fucking cheetos uh every fucking day and shit he's fat uh, overweight this guy is almost like damn this is a lost hope this is all i do this is that's all that matters to me this guy's my mission this is what comes with it you what, what tony montana said he said you get the money you get the you you get the power or, or he said, you get the money, the power, and then the woman comes with it and shit like that. I'm going to make a whole video on that type of shit, too. But basically, this guy's going to win. He's not worried or thinking about, oh, I, I need to get my butt, my, uh, uh, I need to go bust a nut to some feet fetish or to some fucking weird shit, right? You understand? But this guy's going all on that weird shit. Like, he's looking at kids now different. Like, you shouldn't be watching porn to get off. You should be fucking women to get off, right? If you were going to do that, I'm saying stay on Seymour attention, do your thing. But if you were to do and balance the tween, I'd much rather you fuck women or have a girlfriend and fuck than you and, and maybe bust your seed and lose your seed compared to the guy who's watching porn, who's getting no ass in real life and doesn't do anything with bitches in real life. You understand? A lame, loser, fat, out of shape, doesn't have nothing going on with his life. So this is why, bro, this shit will make you weird. I really hope you can understand this shit. I really need you to understand this shit because... You can fall into a deep rabbit hole with this shit and you can see it. Like I told you of that story of that dude that literally worked with me. He was fat, out of shape. He looked like Khabib, no haircut, out of shape, ugly, disgusting. No women. I, if I'm looking at you like, yo, you're ugly and like, not ugly. You're just like a nasty, disgusting, like mean old guy. What do you think a woman's going to look at this guy as? Like, yo, ew, like get this weirdo away from me. You understand what I'm saying? So... I really hope this video is like this is very informational. I really hope you can learn from this shit. Take a get escape this porn shit. Escape all of this weird shit. Focus on your path, your leeway, and your success. That matters more than getting women because women comes anyway with the shit when you're focused on what you got going on. I promise you this. I got too many stories of this shit happens every fucking day. But I love y'all, bro. I really hope you could learn something from me, bro. I got too much fucking knowledge. You, if you made it to the end, bro, leave it in my comment section, bro. I love to see my fans be like, yo, I made it to the end and like I learned something because that really means the most to me because I, I understand a lot, a lot of things thoroughly and a lot of people, you know, oh, man, just think of a fucking dude who paid for a fart to jerk off to a bit, a jar. You open up the jar and it's... I love y'all, bro. I'm gonna leave my last video right here for you guys. So if you didn't catch up on that, go run that shit up, bro. You gotta learn some real game, some real knowledge. Whenever you come to this channel, you're gonna learn some game for your fucking brain. So stay yourself, stay 300. And whatever you're doing in life, trust me, I believe in you, bro.